15 year old boy remains in critical condition right now after being pulled from the water at Lincoln Woods. It's a story that 12 News first brought you last night. New at 5, Matt Paddock joins us now live in studio with reaction from beachgoers. Matt? Mike, it's a tragic story told far too often as we inch closer to summertime. Water incidents at our local state parks and beaches. And today, parents reacting to Sunday's heartbreaking story. It was just after lifeguards were off duty on Sunday night when 911 calls came in for reports of a 15 year old boy being pulled from the waters at Lincoln Woods Beach. It's the parents were a nightmare to watch their kid go through anything like that. A witness on scene telling 12 News a group of children went rushing into the water, frantically searching for the boy after he'd gone missing. Terrible thing to hear. I hope he's going to pull yeah. out of this and be okay. That's when an off duty lifeguard noticed the commotion in the water and jumped in, pulling the boy to shore and performing CPR. You hear about this all the time and it, it's just it's sad every single time you hear it. Emergency rescue crews rushing towards the state park as flashing lights and sirens is taking over the beach. Our cameras capturing the moment that the rescue left heading towards Hasbro Hospital. Edie Silvio, a mother herself, says hearing this news is tragic. I hope it's not the start of what the summer is going to look like for kids everywhere. According to DEM spokesperson Mike Healy, the teenage boy was swimming out past these ropes when he went under. I think your heart goes out to everybody that, you know, something happens to their child because you don't want that to happen to yours. You certainly don't want it to happen to somebody else's. For Colette Finucci, she says this is a reminder. This kind of incident could happen to anyone and to always stay vigilant when you're near bodies of water. And it's hard when they get to be teenagers. You think, oh, they're a little bit better. They're not toddlers anymore, but it can happen to anybody, you know. Now, I just got off of the phone with DEM spokesperson Mike Healy, who tells me there is still no update since that the victim was in critical condition as of two o'clock. But in studio, Matt Paddock. 12 news. A teenage boy pulled from the water at Lincoln Woods yesterday remains in the hospital tonight. We're told it was an off duty lifeguard who swam out and rescued the team. 12 news reporter Matt Paddock talked to the DEM about what happened. He joins us now with what he's learned. Matt. Mike Shannon, it's tragic stories like these that tend to happen more often as we inch closer to summer. Now I spoke with DEM spokesperson Mike Healy today about what happened and tips on how you can stay safe when you're by the water. It was just after 6 p.m. on Sunday when rescue crews were rushed to Lincoln Woods State Park Beach for a water incident involving a 15 year old boy. It's the parents were a nightmare to watch their kid go through anything like that. DEM spokesperson Mike Healy says the boy was swimming past a roped off area just after lifeguards were off duty. 15 year old who is the victim in this case was the one who went out beyond the ropes to try to retrieve the ball and that's when he he got into trouble. He says a commotion at the beach followed and that's when an off duty lifeguard jumped into action taking to the murky water was able to pull the boy up to the surface and then, you know, assisted him to shore. He began immediately CPR from there. Rescue crews rushing the teenage boy to Hasbro Children's Hospital. <laughs> Healy says these tragic incidents happen more and more often during the summertime, and he says statistics show a scary trend for teenage boys. About 75% of all children and teenage drowning victims are boys. And he says it's important to take preventative measures when headed to beaches. Uh, swimming is an inherently risky activity. But most importantly, never swim alone and make sure someone is always watching. Children and teenagers should always be supervised. Um, when they're swimming, parental or adult supervision is, is absolutely critical. Now, I reached out to Healy at about 6.05 for an update on that victim, but was, un was unable to get a hold of him at this time. Reporting live in the newsroom, Matt Paddock, 12 News.